Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope y'all are having an awesome day. I'm gonna get that ring light out of my face. Y'all, tonight we're gonna be working on a Dollar Tree. Look, this is what I, we used to call a biscuit pan. That's what my aunt and my grandma used to make biscuits. And I got my gloves on the wrong side. How are y'all doing? And I'm going to have to make some fake rust, but I've actually got a color that I've used before and it looks really good as rust and it's called cinnamon. Then I'm going to use some dark brown, dark chocolate. And I've, I've already put one coat on the pan with the um, Waverly Mineral. As you're hopping on, say hello. Y'all let me know where you're watching from. And then I'm going to be painting this pig and chicken and the words Farm Fresh. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm painting these white and I'm just going to use chalk paste. You can use chalk paint, chalk paste, whatever you want to use. I might be able to just use what's on the lid. Have y'all had a great day? And, you know, we may just give these a wash. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that, Deborah, and everybody else that shared or sprinkled. What have y'all done today? Y'all, I'm just, I'm putting a messy coat on here. And it will be fine, fine, fine. It's so good to see y'all. I see we've got people from Virginia, Canada. My brush is so wet. So we're, look, sometimes y'all say, wear gloves. <laughs> I need to get something to fit better. Isn't that right? Kentucky's in the house. Okay. Get rid of this. Hello from Alabama. Uh-oh, Tanya had cataract surgery today. I hope you're doing good. Hey, from Arizona too. Hey, Kathy. Thanks for sharing, Connie. These are all from Barry's Woodshop. And I know several of y'all have gotten these. There's like three choices over there for the for the um, April Club. Gosh, is this year flying by or what? It seemed like it seemed like January took forever, but the other months have gone by quick. I think I need to put another little coat on this. Hey from Georgia. Hey Darcy, thank you. Indiana is Sharon. Love it. Y'all are so awesome. Y'all know we have to get give Facebook what what they want. I was about to say what she wants. <laughs> hey from Georgia and Kentucky. Gosh, we we got a, a lot of states covered tonight. Okay. We may add a little bit of rust, rusty. I have got, this is very watery right here. Hey, in Canada too, Kate. I filled that up with paint, with paste. And Texas, Louisiana. I love it. Listen, how was the weather where y'all, it started out a little, almost a little like rainy looking this morning, but it's, got looking good and I want to show y'all 
how messy these look. But, and see, that's just one, like, thin coat. And that's all we're going to put on there. We're going to work on rusting up our pan now. And I'm just going to squirt some of this cinnamon color. It's a matte acrylic paint. And then we're going to use some black and some brown. Let's see. Dark chocolate espresso. They look, they look very similar to me. Hey, from Florida. Florida, listen, I don't know what it is, but anytime I say Florida and California, I always think it's sunny there all the time. And that's probably not true. Y'all gonna have, you need to tell me if it is. 98 degrees? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna plop out some of this black. And y'all, this kind of thing, I didn't have a regular sponge, so I have an old, like, sink sponge that I clean stuff out here in the shop with. So I kind of cut it up, and I'm going to use it. And I just remembered something. I'm going to be covering that up with these. So I don't even really have to do nothing there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we're going to put a little black and a little brown. Whoops. Drop my sponge. Hey, Joanna. Usually sunny in Florida, but not this week. Hey. Then we're not all jealous. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this sponge and kind of go around in different spots and on the edges. And I, these, I hope I don't miss, these are going to be kind of covering up the sides so we don't have to worry about that too much. We just want to kind of rust it up. I'll turn it around so y'all can see. And which I was going to sprinkle some cinnamon in these areas, but this, um, this color is really, really, I'm going to show y'all this. It is, it's almost the color of like the powdery cinnamon. So, it's not even necessary. And I, t I told y'all, when we were growing up, this was a biscuit pan. Like my aunt and my grandma and mama would always cook biscuits in pans shaped like this. But what did y'all, what do y'all call it? And this is, we're going to say this is an old one that we found in the barn or something that was rusty. You, I guess usually the only thing you find that's rusty is the, um, what do you call them? The cast iron. Let me see. You can take one out of your cupboard. <laughs> All right, now, look, I'm going to try to get in these corners in this rounded area. We're going to say this one has been, there's been a lot of baking going on. Cake pan. Hey, listen, they probably cook cakes and um, biscuits in the same thing. And you know what? I think my aunt sometimes would cook cornbread in here. Well, she made some good cornbread. A sheet cake pan. Okay. And I get, you know, honestly, when we were growing up, we didn't have that many cakes. <laughs> I'm not saying that we didn't ever have a cake, but we didn't have them that often. And usually, uh, y'all, we were poor. We would have, we would not have, we wouldn't have Kool-Aid or anything during the week. The only time we would have Kool-Aid's on Sunday after church. But you know what? We didn't know the difference. We didn't think nothing about it. You know what? 
All right. And look, you can make this look. Actually, you could don't even have to do this to it. This is, um, I just thought it would be fun to kind of make it look like an old pan, a well-used pan. You called it a nine by 13, okay. <laughs> and you probably still do. Hey, Jeanette. I thought about doing this like with the blue and white speckle, specks, speckles, which that would look cool too. In fact, we'll have to do that one day. Sugar holic. So you had sweets every day. And you know what? My mama did like sweets too. And she would always save room for her sweets. I love those memories, don't y'all? Thinking back about the good old days. <laughs> Hey, Patricia from Georgia. Hey, at first I thought I put too much paint out here, but then, like, maybe not enough. But, th hey, this would look good with the, what are those plates and things called? I always think about camping when I see them. They're, like, they're blue with the white specks on them. Wonderful memories, yes. Somebody said they had they could bring theirs out of the um, the the cabinet looking like this. And you know what? I could bring my pizza pan out looking like this. <laughs> that's that's about the only thing that gets this much use these days. No Kool-Aid or sweets for y'all. It was it was always a treat to have, you know, something other than water. Which now, you know, we we all talk about. We need to drink more water. We need to drink more water. Okay, and just ignore the sides. But look at that. Does that look like? A well-used pan. We gotta get this dry. We would have more cookies than cakes. <laughs> we prop. You know what, Mama always liked the De little Debbie cakes, and it was my the ones with the. Um, I'm gonna dry this. The um, the raisin. Uh, what are they called? They've got the raisins in them. Raisin cakes, I guess. Little Debbie raisin cakes. That was her favorite. So that's what we would have. And they were good. We're making a farmhouse kitchen decor. <laughs> Somebody said, what are you making? A rusty pan. Uh, Kimberly, I have not. And like I said, y'all, we have been trying to drink more water. It's like we, us too, straight from the farm. Um, but we, like I said, mostly had water during the week. And we had like a lot of um, like beans and cornbread and stuff like that during the week. <laughs> And, uh, and then like on Sunday, we would have, um, a meat, a meat. And, uh, like I said, we didn't even, it didn't even phase us that we didn't have meat every night. <laughs> the key word is fresh. Somebody trying to rush me. I'm hurrying. And I got my glue gun on. <laughs> But I hope y'all's Monday has been wonderful. It is Monday, isn't it? 
And listen, if it's not Monday when you're watching this, then, and look, I got a little bit of, you did too, Deborah. But it was, you know, it was the good old times. Let's see. I'm going to sand the edges on these a little bit. And y'all, don't forget, um, if you join as a designer before the 12th or by the 12th, um, with your first order, you can get five free paste. And look, I'm sanding these off a little bit. But I think I'm going to go around, after I chalk them, I might go around with a little bit of that rust. And they look kind of worn already because I didn't really paint them that good. Because I'm wanting this to look like a little, like it came straight out of a farmhouse kitchen. Let me wipe these off. You took the day off work. And worked in your yard. Oh, I love that. There's something about working in the yard that is just so refreshing. Sue, we same way with us. We were poor and didn't know it. Now I think kids know it. That's still a little bit wet. Hey, Vicky from sunny Ohio. Love it, love it, love it. So glad y'all are having some good weather. All right, I'm going to do the pig and the chicken first. And I'm going to do them. I'm going to do everything in black. So it's kind of black and white is our theme here. If you want to call it a theme. And I'm just like lining this up while it's still on the backer sheet. And we're not going to do, we're not doing the word organic. We're just going to do farm fresh, the checkerboard, and um, did I say I was going to do this in black? I hope I did. Okay. So we're just gonna do like one part at a time. Hey, hey, hey. My grandma and my aunt would get up early in the mornings and cook biscuits in a pan like this. And uh, they would get up really, really early. That was, that was back when the men worked in the on the farm or which, we didn't have a farm, but, you know, I hear my grandma talk about times like that. She would still get up early and fix biscuits before we went to school or something like that. Or during the summer when Mama was working. Okay. So we're doing these first. Oh, my gosh, I love that. It already looks very rustic, doesn't it? I love the details. So awesome. The transfers just turn nothing into something. And now we're going to do the words farm fresh. And like I said, I am basically just leaving it on the backer sheet and lining stuff up. And it's, the transfers are easy to see through, so it's easy to do. And still keeping with the black and white theme. But y'all, isn't that sweet? Love it. And when, when I did this one, I did it in black and white on the milk can. So I thought I'd do it different tonight. And then farm 
fresh. Did I, did I mess that up? Okay. And I'm just staying with black and white, but you could do anything, any color you want. We're gonna put these like on the edge. If I can get, get it straight, fairly straight. I'm good with fairly straight. This reminds me of like the feed stores. I used to like to go there with my uncle. The only thing was he smoked a pipe and I'd be walking behind him and it would just about make me sick. I just could not handle that. You know, back then, you could smoke anywhere. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm gonna do the other end. Like, I think I got some black paste on me somewhere. Can't wait to get your club. Oh, I know. This is one of my favorites, too. I've been thinking about, you know, as designers, we get the club transfer as part of our monthly um, thing that we get. I've been thinking about ordering another, you know, just joining the club again so I can get two of them. Because I don't, I wear them out. I love the farmhouse look too. I can smell that glue gun. It's getting hot over there. Hot, hot, hot. I've got a book. I'm going to put this on a book. It's been a while since I chalked a book. You got your Saturday? Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm just, I'll, I didn't use the word organic, but we'll, we'll use that. <laughs> So here we go, let's get them all dry. Then we'll start building our design. We'll get rid of some of these paint brushes. I'm gonna, I always like to, when I'm blow, drying stuff, I like to uh, see y'all's comments. And then I couldn't decide if I'm gonna put it this way or this way. I think I'm gonna put it this way. But look at how rusty that looks. Oh, you know what? Jeannie says she has a couple of dresses made out of feed sacks. I think we did too. And I think flower sacks too. And I can remember when the, um, I think it was bags of flour, it might have been bags of sugar too, would have uh, like glasses and um, dishes and stuff in it. Y'all remember that? I'm going to put these on the end. Isn't that cute? But I can remember the glasses and the, uh, I think it was bowls and glasses. I just remember drinking tea out of those glasses. <laughs> So, isn't that cute? I mean, at this point, you could do anything with it. Let's add. Let's see. And then farm fresh. Everything's better on the farm. Towels and lot. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. And that would smell so good. I do remember that. And bath cloths, too. I think, wasn't the bath cloths like sewed into the end of it? I do remember that. Let me 
I remember. I remember. So here's where we are so far. Isn't that cute? Would you ever have a monthly cup? Um, you know what? Um, we have requested that, so I hope so. Have like ink. And especially now that we've got ink packets, that would be so cool. Y'all, isn't this cute? So cute. Close some of these up. Yes, Mary. Sometimes the dishcloths were at the end of the... the um, oh, gosh. What would be in there? Washing powders, I think. And, y'all, I don't even remember if it was... I don't even remember. Was tied around back then? I'm sure it was. But I don't remember what brand it was. Oh, yes, jelly glasses. And look, I think I'm going to add a little bit of this. Just because I can. Looks like a shadow box. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Thanks, Teresa. I'm just going to put some on the edges. I should have put the pig up a little higher. <laughs> I don't want to cover him up. Isn't this stinking cute, y'all? Isn't this cute? Yeah, we know what stinking cute is. But I just I love how rusty the pan looks. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do a little bit at the bottom. Thank you. Don't stick to my finger. Okay, now let's add. Y'all, look what I got. I've got this with chickens on it. And then this that says Farmer's Market. This one sounds. So listen, for everybody that's in the club, everybody that's a club member, this is another idea for you. We've, we've used this on a dish towel and then... I used, Barry made this milk can. We used it on here. And then this is just a metal Dollar Tree fan. But I want to put it on a tote, a tote bag. Because I think it's so cute. But I, listen, I love that we can make we can make these um, Dollar Tree pans look old. Isn't that like awesome that we can do that? I think it's awesome. Put this in the back. Just checking to see if y'all are saying anything. I think you like this. I think I love it. I especially love, y'all, this is Folk Art Matte Cinnamon. And you don't have to use the messy, because y'all look at that. It does look like rust. And you don't have to use the cinnamon. Even though I like the cinnamon because it smells good. But if you're like me and you run out, grab you some of that. I um, don't know if I got that at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but it is so cool. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm tickled with it. And now, thank you so much. Y'all, it's super simple too. I mean, y'all saw me. I love that you can watch me create. And that way you can try it. You don't have to be worried about trying it because you can see how easy it is. Right? So easy. Uh, the other color I used was um, dark chocolate. But what I'm seeing here is mostly the cinnamon and the black. Thank you. I love mixing ribbon. My son told me I need to do a video training on, on these ribbons. I might do that. I, I listen to him. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put it up here on the corner. Thank you, Cindy, for sprinkling. I hope this gives y'all some ideas. I appreciate y'all sharing, hanging out with me. It, get, it would get lonely in the craft room if y'all weren't here. Thank you, Sandra. Let me trim a little more. But I'm tickled with the um, rust look. I held it back here so y'all can see. What do y'all think? I love it. And in our little locally grown farm fresh. Now look, it's still shiny on the back. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me, friends. Love you guys, and I will see you soon. Y'all let me know if you try this. Bye, y'all.